Hey guys, what's up? This video is about what to do when you're not feeling inspiration and you're trying to be creative or do some kind of pursuit with writing or art or speaking or whatever the case may be or even a normal goal, quote unquote normal, whether it's like fitness or business and you just don't feel like you're in the mood. And I guess that's really more the topic is what to do when you don't feel like you're in the mood to do things. So it's funny, I'm making this video on this topic because part of the commitment in my goal and my vision is to have a successful YouTube channel uh, in which I have a good following and I'm positively impacting the lives of other people by sharing the thoughts, the ideas, the lessons uh, through my own experience and as well as being a coach with others so that they can improve. And I'm making this video obviously, like I said, because really I didn't know what the hell I wanted to talk about. I didn't know what the hell to do. I have no uh, written plan. I'm not feeling inspired at all or necessarily uh, you know, driven or anything like that right now. I'm actually feeling quite the opposite. I was like, what the hell am I gonna talk about? Like, what am I gonna do? And it's funny, just by sitting with that feeling all of a sudden and just choosing to get started and say, screw it, the best thing to do is just jump right in. I'm having all these I guess uh, past experiences, things I've read, words of wisdom that I've heard in the past that are coming through to me. And what I would say is this, I remember I believe it's James Clear, who is a behavioral psychologist, and he's done extensive studies, clinical studies, um, I shouldn't say clinical, but professional longitudinal studies, things like this on inspiration and creation. And I remember the article that I read, and here's what he had to say, and it's also why I just decided to start the camera with no plan and just get it going. Oftentimes we get in the way and we overthink things. I think I've done a video on perfectionism before and we think that, oh, I have to wait until I feel this aha, inspired, amazing moment like, oh, I'm okay, now I can create. But his article, what he talked about was the best writers of all time, the best artists, the, uh, the best at anything are the people that do stuff, especially when they don't feel like doing it. So if you want to be a great writer, you're certainly not going to feel inspired to write all the time. But the most important thing is that you sit down and you just write. Um, I always think of, I believe he used this in the article as well, uh, about Picasso, right? All Picasso did all day was paint, was draw, uh, was use pastels, pens, papers, pencils, all these different mediums. It didn't really matter what he was doing, if he felt inspired or not. It's just what he did. And as a result of that, he created more work as, works of art than you could ever imagine. And then as a byproduct, all these works of art uh, came to be famous just because he had mastered his skill because he was just doing the thing. Uh, he talks about it with himself as a writer. And I've heard other writers talk about this. If you want to come become a better writer, just write. You're not going to feel like it sometimes. You're not going to feel inspired. But you just sit down and start writing ideas or whatever comes to your heart. I believe the same thing is with speaking and therefore why, again, I decided to just turn on the camera and speak. Uh, it's thinking, it's overthinking things that screws us up. And then I also realized that uh, this is where the discipline comes in and the commitment that I made to myself that I'm going to post videos regularly, two to three each week on YouTube regardless for at least two or three years, um, really three years minimum. And I'm well on track with that goal. Uh, and this is also something that's coming to me right now. Well, I guess let me finish that thought. So the point is right now is if you're doing something in your life, whatever the goal is, and you don't feel like doing it, just freaking do it. Because oftentimes when you don't feel like doing it and you do it, that's like our best work, ironically. Have you ever felt like, you know, you really don't feel like working out, but you overcame that story in your mind, that limitation, you decided to go and it ended up being like the most amazing workout of your life and you felt incredible. That's because you overcame that habit, that self-limiting belief, that talk, the behavior uh, that was holding you back and you took the action and stepped over the mountain. That's what growth is. That's what, again, some of our best works are produced. Uh, you might, if you ever produce content and things like this, you'll make things like this and go, God, that was crap, no one's gonna watch it. And you're like, well, whatever, I'm just gonna post it anyways. And it happens to be like the most watched and impactful thing that you could have shared. And what also comes to mind with that is that's why it's important to just express our authenticity and what comes uh, through to us, not necessarily what we're thinking with our minds, but more about what we're feeling with our hearts and expressing it openly and outwardly. Because when you're speaking truthfully and allowing the flow of ideas to 
uh, simply move through you, you'll find that all of a sudden, just by getting started and speaking from your heart, that the inspiration will automatically come. I don't really have any scripts for a lot of these YouTubes uh, that I do. When before I was doing a podcast, I had a very light outline and I'd have a topic and then maybe I'd have a couple of bullet points or things I wanted to touch on, but I noticed a lot of the time that once I got speaking, I just started going through it and then whatever came up is whatever came up and whatever came up is whatever needed to come up because that's the message that was n needed for or that I needed to express and then consequently I'm sure people that were listening to the podcast when I was doing it at the time or these YouTube videos you're probably hearing this message just at the right time for you can't explain it that's just how things work and I can kind of explain it this is the universal intelligence universal laws on that note, I've mentioned this book one other time. If you really want to study a success and how things work and the flow of energy and ideas and all these things and how they happen in the world and the universe, um, Deepak Chopra wrote a book called The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. It's also called The Seven Natural Laws. Uh, and what these are are literally natural laws, just the way of things. So uh, the law of cause and effect. Um, the law of reciprocity, right? You get what you give, things like this. Um, the law of detachment, that you really have to detach from something in order to allow it to grow. Uh, an example of that that we've talked about before, at least I have on the YouTube channel, is you know, if you're sitting there and you're like, man, I really want to grow this apple tree, and you plant an apple seed tree, and you're sitting there attached, you're like, why isn't this apple tree growing? You're just watering the shit out of it, like over nurturing it. You have to detach and let it do its thing. But the point is, these are the seven spiritual laws of success or the natural laws. Uh, and when you study these things and you start to understand, I think life becomes a lot more of an easy flow. This is also when people often start to experience synchronicities. And if you've never heard of synchronicities, some people call them coincidences. Uh, but these, I guess in the spiritual world, we call them synchronicities. This is seeing uh, repeating numbers or thinking about someone that you haven't talked to while on the phone and they call you all of a sudden or... Uh, you know, you ask the answer to a question and about, you know, what you should do with, uh, you know, this situation, this relationship or this person. And then all of a sudden you walk around the corner and you see like a big billboard that says, uh, let it go, relax or something. You're like, holy crap, I was just thinking about the situation. I walk around and that that's what a synchronicity is. So when you get into the flow and you just start moving forward and keeping it back on topic, you do the thing that you need to do. You simply do the thing. All of a sudden, what you're doing is you're creating energy, you're creating motion, and now you're co-creating with the universe and everything starts to become into more of a flow. When you improve your awareness, not only of yourself, but of these uh, laws that I talk about and different things like this, becoming more sensitive to energy, you'll also notice and become more aware of the flow of things and how these things start to work in your life. And then all of a sudden you picture it, maybe you're in a raft swimming upstream in your life, you start to identify these things, and then all of a sudden you're going downstream. So you're not always gonna feel inspired, you're not always gonna feel like doing things, and this is obviously about discipline and motivation and what the you know differences are between those two. There's a quote from Jim Rohn that pops into my mind. Um, I believe it's, oh actually I think it's Zig Ziglar. Zig Ziglar is an old school public speaker. Both those guys are absolutely incredible, so I recommend you dive into their material if you've uh, never heard of either one of these gentlemen. Zig Ziglar and Jim Rohn. Amazing, amazing personal development public speakers. Very deep insights. Ancient souls with a lot of wisdom. Uh, but the quote from Zig Ziglar is, um, motivation doesn't last, but neither does bathing. That's why we recommend you do it daily. <laughs> so, you know, motivation every single day because, again, you're not going to feel motivated and inspired to do what you did. But if you're committed to what you have visualized in your mind and you achieve and you simply follow through and go, again, you'll be amazed at how things start. I don't, again, I don't have any of this crap scripted, but this is what comes up and this is what I feel that I need to speak from my heart and what's coming through to me and through, through um, I guess, from me or from my higher self to you uh, to express and this is what happens when you just go. So you don't know what the next chapter of your book is going to be. It doesn't matter. Just sit down and write. You don't know what you're going to paint. Who cares? Sit there and put the paintbrush on the on the pad and start doing it. You don't know what your you know next idea or you know inspiration is going to be. Who cares? Just start going. Just start going. You'll see what comes out. Uh, on that note, too, what I've realized is effective for me and that I've started to experience is 
Um, since I am posting content daily uh, for my fitness business and on Instagram primarily, uh, when I do feel super inspired, I've noticed that it comes in batches and I'll have all these great ideas come at once and I'll have like 10, 15 ideas. So when I do sit down and make content, I'm like, damn, I'm gonna use this energy and I'll start to batch all of my content and be like, yes, like let's do this. And then write ideas down so you can refer back to them later. And you may not remember all the details or everything you want to talk about, but if you have the general idea, that idea came through to you for a reason. So the most important thing is just do the thing just go, just start going because you're not gonna feel like it. You're not always gonna feel inspired. You won't always wanna go to the gym. You won't always wanna you know, read the book that you need to read to study for the certification or the course that you wanna get. Uh, you're not always going to wanna write. You're not always gonna wanna paint. You're not always gonna wanna speak in front of the camera. You're not always gonna wanna create content. It doesn't matter. Uh, a lot of the time our feelings and you know our emotions and, often, and also our thoughts, I mean, it's a mishmash. When they're completely aligned, oh, it's a beautiful thing. But is that gonna happen every single day, all day? No, it'd be nice, but that's just really not how things work. So be disciplined over motivated. It's great to be motivated, do it daily. And then before I kind of wrap this talk up, again, it's about understanding the process of discipline. So discipline, in my mind, in my own personal definition of it, and I haven't looked it up or anything, discipline is doing the things that you don't wanna do especially when you don't feel like doing them. This is willpower, this is uh, discipline, and it's a muscle. And I made a reel about that on Instagram. And here's how I invite you to look at it. If you, su not suffer, but if you struggle with being self-disciplined, following through, um, adhering to something, what you need to do is treat your self-discipline, your willpower, like a muscle. You've gotta work it out a little bit each day. And if you haven't been working out your discipline muscle, uh, then obviously it's gonna be pretty weak, so you have to start small. So how do you start small? You pick one small thing that you say you're gonna do and you follow through with it and make it so easy that you have no excuse but to follow through. An example of this would be this. Say, oh man, I wanna you know, start reading more books, but I just, I don't, I just, I, I'm not a reader. Is it, well, that's a whole nother thought about identity and posting your own limitations in front of yourself, but if you say, man, I want to be another reader, I just, you know, I just don't read often. Well, then the goal is to develop the discipline muscle to read is to set a small goal that's easy, say, okay, I'm just going to literally read a half a page a day in this book that I want to read. A half a page, or just even make it a paragraph. The idea is you make it so incredibly simple and easy that you're like, I can do that. And then oftentimes, again, when you just start going and you read that paragraph, you're like, oh, I'm already starting reading a paragraph and you read a page and you read two pages and you're like, holy shit, I just read 25 pages in this book. I picked up a lot of great ideas just from you overcoming the uh, barrier of initiating, right? And this is procrastination. Procrastination is also linked with perfectionism. We procrastinate because we feel things have to look, feel, and be a certain way before we go. Again, it does not. So it's <laughs> the irony of this talk, man, and the topic, I didn't know what the hell I wanted to talk about, and I started the camera, and I was like, let's just go. Talk about how you're not feeling inspired. Talk about how you don't have anything to talk about right now, and just get going. And now, again, the funny thing is, I'm having the so many downloads and ideas come up as a result of me just doing this. So, the base message as we rack, uh, uh, wrap up this talk today, develop discipline like a muscle, uh, because it is. Motivate yourself daily, but if you can't, that's where discipline will come in. And you're not gonna feel inspired. You're not always gonna feel like doing it. But if you told yourself you are gonna do it and you've been strengthening your discipline muscle, it'll be easier to use that willpower to do it in the times where you really don't feel like it. And this is incredibly important because you gotta view things like water, right? It's like, here's this huge boulder but little by little, just having a drop every single day, drop, 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 dropping in the same place on that boulder, you'll eventually make a hole all the way through the boulder because it's the little things that we do each day and it's consistency over time that creates the result. So it doesn't matter how you feel, it's not always gonna be a big, huge wave of water, sand blasting, making all this noise and progress on that boulder. Sometimes it's just a drop and then you wait and then it's a drop <laughs> and then you wait. That's just how things work. 
So batch your stuff together when you do feel inspired, that way you have some content or really put in the extra work when you really feel like it. But when you don't feel like it, develop the discipline muscle and just become aware that you will not always want to do this stuff. So that's it for today and I appreciate you listening. I hope the message was valuable for you to hear and it assists you in pursuing and creating the vision that you have in whatever endeavor it is that you are in the middle of pursuing or creating. I uh, would love if you like the video, leave any comments, uh, please subscribe to the channel and share this with anyone that you think it would be helpful with and for, uh, because my goal uh, is, again, to grow my YouTube channel, not for the sake of just growing it. Of course, I want to grow it and I'd love to uh, you know, have some businesses and things. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Be honest and upfront, authentic about that. That's the dream, right? That's why we do this. But it really is just to give as well and share the positive messages that I think can help other people uh, because I've certainly experienced this and if you're listening to this you probably have to and I guarantee you it's not just me and you it's a lot of people so anyways love you appreciate you thank you for watching today we'll see you next time peace